The shipment came in today, that's good. One fresh Gavino free. Oh, Freshly nice. unpacked. Hot off For the a race Set Show! show! Oh, welcome Hello. back everybody, yeah. Yeah, yeah this <laughs> is the third iteration, and you've probably seen it from the title. It is the Gavinisms, or the British slang quiz. Uh, I'm a lot of breath. Yeah, from Karen, from Karen like, that you, little, you claimed he was top heavy I'm on the way light. Yeah, he's, he's more dense than he looks. What we have here is we have five rounds. Gavin's gonna present us with three British slang terms, two of which will be real British slang, and one he made up, like, however long ago with the his bollocks. own definition and everything. So right. we're gonna Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah, to the world. <laughs> Start up here, so we get, end down here. We get a definition, <laughs> no I love it. We get a definition, and uh, and a use in a sentence. Those are the two cheats Those we get. Those are the two, yeah. Okay. And then and only one word each. Five rounds. Five rounds. Woo, all right, five rounds. Round rounder. one. Round one, what do you got for us? We got Binny, we got Dench, and we've got Miffed. Dame Judy Dench, all smashed together in one beautiful word. I, miffed. I think that's you're like, mad. you're angry. You're, yeah. you're upset, you're miffed. I'm a bit miffed. To be honest, Binny's good because it's like, I'll just chuck it in the Binny. Oh, Binny could be a bin. What's a, what's a Binny? It's like pre-drinks. Like before oh. you would go out to the pub, where's the Binny? Have a Binny round mine. Oh, I'll, I'll have a Listen. bin of vodka before we go out. <laughs> right. Like, how do you get Binny? I'm gonna black out before I go, you know what I mean? Can you use Dench in a sentence? And don't just yell Dench at me. Uh, pick you up at seven, Dench. So it's like, oh, that's all right. Sounds good. Like, like, like a Roger. Agreeable. Yeah. Itch. Rod, I've heard, and yes, I agree. Vinny, let me help you out here. Mm. I just came up with this one. Go for it. Bev's inside. Let's go have Bev's inside before we go to the pubs. Bev's in. Yeah, so you oh. have some bins. I, I know what I'm voting for. I think I do too. Three, two, one, two. One. So you think Binny is fake, I think Dench is fake. Why did I do that? Did you want to vote for this being fake? I do now. You are correct! Oh! Dench! Binny's bollocks. Uh, Dench, um, yeah, people just started saying, I think, assume it came from Judy Dench. I thought you made it up because of Judy Dench. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, maybe he made I, it I up. used to have a friend. He wasn't a friend, he was a knobhead. But he wore, <laughs> a, he wore a shirt that just said Dench on it. He was a Billy No Mates. He was a Billy No Mates. Yeah. So I, someone sent me a drawing of a dude and just says Billy No Mates on it. Oh, God. <laughs> it was, it's on my desk. Round two. Round two. The theme is up. Oh, okay. We got tits up, we got knees up, we got heels up. <laughs> tits up, knees up, heels right. up. If something's gone bad, it's, it's gone, gone tits, tits up. up. <laughs> we know this from many a GTA. Many, many a GTA. See, for me, I would think heels up as if you fell. Yeah. Like if someone slipped, they went full on. They went full heels up. What's the definition of knees up? It's a party. Like, you probably wait. say, oh, like uh, you know. Jim's 30 this week. We'll go around this for a knees up. A knees up. <laughs> like you, it's a now? <laughs> it's like, oh, you go around Jim's, you put your knees up. On it's like not even social an action. Gathering. They'll be drinking. I'm gonna have a birthday knees up tomorrow. It'll be great. It's gonna be so good. I love how, I mean, you you always sound English, but I love how like concentrated your English gets in these episodes. He, oh, yeah, right, you know, you he surrounds context. it with other British words. <laughs> right. Can you please use heels yeah. up in a sentence? Oh, he was running in the box there, and he went heels up for no reason. Mm hmm mm hmm I think it was it. Well, for no reason. It was like he decided to. Wait, he was, he was running, what did you say? He was running in the box. That's a whole different thing. I don't He's, even know what that means. You incepted the <laughs> I'll put it into tone. perspective, it's football. Okay. Ah, oh, anyway, box, he heals up for no reason. So he like... He could have flopped? Flopped, yeah. Yeah. Benny was the fake one last time, and yeah. the definition was also to go around gyms to have a couple bevs. Knees up, heading back to gyms. We're going to gym. beverages. Gyms. Gyms got a lot going on. Well, also you had a Benny before the knees up. That's right? true. Yeah. Could In fact, you could have a Benny up. while you knees up. <laughs> no, you can't. No, Benny's before. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Two. Three. Please. Point for Jeremy. Yeah. Oh. Knees up was too weird to not be real. <laughs> Knees up, absolutely real. Yeah, that's that that's was my like, logic. I feel like there's like a, a weirdness spectrum. The closer to like normal it is, it's it's regular. And the weirder it gets, the the more normal it that's is. That's what I was but saying. But in the middle is this uncanny, well it's more like <laughs> yeah. an uncanny valley of yeah. like <laughs> slang. That's quite an old fashioned one. I'm having to delve into the past. With the knees, knees up. up. Knees yeah. up's an old fashioned one. So is that like. One. I, I wouldn't say Only it. old people say your, knees up. Maybe up it. north you might still say it, I don't know. So if you put your feet up, is that like kind of getting your knees up or like, is there. I don't know, I don't know where that one came from. That's fine, you don't have to. Yeah. Get your knees up. You're an I'm English sort of. historian. My handwriting is not good today. That's okay. 
Losing your voice, you're losing your hands. Losing everything, I'm losing my mind. Losing your religion. <clears throat> okay, that's ready you in the corner. corner. What do you got three. For We've got on the pull, Bunty Shuffler. And Hank Marvin. <laughs> okay, listen, the fact that he had to check Hank Marvin. Whoa. I hate it when you present us with just names. It's, <laughs> you're doing a lot. Hank and Hank Marvin. And the stupid amount of times we go, can you use that in a sentence? And he goes, Hank Marvin. And we right. go, God. Right. Like, what did we get? So what I'm going to say is, <clears throat> we shouldn't ask for that in a sentence because that's happened every time. Bunty Shuffler. He'll go, that's just a worm. That's a cabin worm name, Bunty, Bunty Shuffler. Shuffler. Right. He's like, Oh, Bunty Shuffler whipped out the ninja rope and off he went. Yeah. Uh, on, on the, the pole, pole is very suspiciously close to just like on the pill. On the which pill. Which is already like a Or a on phrase. the pole, if you're trying to get or to on college. The yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was very funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can we get... I tried to just let that one slide. Well, yes, you're right. <laughs> Can Absolutely. we get on the pole in a sentence? Going out on the pole tonight, lads. Over at Jim's. Oh, you headed to a knees up? A knees up at Jim. <laughs> Bit of a <laughs> Benny. I went for the Benny. Onto the pole. <laughs> I want to know the definition of a good old Hank Marvin. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to leave Bunty Shuffler in the Listen, gray. I've got right. some, some gut feels about Bunty. Hungry. I haven't eaten all day and I'm real Hank Marvin. <laughs> he likes a lot of E sounds and hard Bunty. consonants. And that's what we really pulled out of episode one. Was like a lot of unt and a lot of E and a lot of... Like he likes like that, certain that has sounds. Every, that has everything Gavin would love. Like there's a formula. <laughs> like if you stirred the pot and just like <laughs> dripped it out with Chemical X and like Bunty that Shuffler. That is a Gavin product, Bunty Shuffler. And so because of that, I've got severe tunnel vision and I haven't listened at all about the pole. And yeah. the rhyming Cockney slang is in there. On the pole. Yeah, I. Again, it's it makes no sense. It's so <clears throat> weird that it. It, it must right? be real, right? You'd hope. But they just call each other names. They're just like, oh, that guy's Frank Jeffrey. It means he's tired. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, why? 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 Oh, I knew a guy named Jeff. He was just tired all the time. Right. Okay. I, I, I you know what? I'm going to go with Hank Marvin. Really? Yeah. I'm going with two. You're going with three? Um, don't let it be one. I won't let you get away with that. Number two is fake. Oh, it was a Gavin formula. I have uh, I was slightly disappointed I didn't get to use my definition on oh, it. Oh, I would love to hear yeah, it. Yeah, please. Uh, my definition was going to be just like people, solicitors going door to door. I like watch out for a couple of bunty <laughs> shufflers out there. Just like making the rounds. Don't go outside The shuffling yet. from <laughs> yeah. door to door. Is the reason it's that because your brain went, this would be a funny thing to say? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you just know, my, the, you know like the intricacies the of the sound and the and my the... brain we've, unintentionally makes. I think collectively we've watched more content than you've worked here. Also on the Very pole. Like, what does on the pole mean? Yeah. It means you go, you're going out, you want to you get some. You're seeking a new sexual partner. Uh, oh. Round four. No. Round four. Correct. I haven't fooled you yet. I've not got you to guess both the wrong ones. You've been maybe, close, though. Maybe this is the round. You've got Dosh, you've got Wonga, and you've got Chut. Chut. This is the one. Chut. This is the round where he gets both of us. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin has said Dosh to me before, but it was by accident when he was trying to read me Morse code. Dot, dot, dash, Dosh. <laughs> and I mean, that is why it's fake. Just end of sentence. Chut, is that anything to do with chutney? And what is chutney? <clears throat> It's a isn't, food? It's a food, but it's like a, isn't chutney like a mixture of a bunch of stuff? Yeah, you get it in a jar. You put it on like mango chutney with a bit of Indian food or something. Yeah. Wonga. Wonga is something. This is, <laughs> this is the round. I'm going to pull it out. Oh, all right. The classic technique that's never worked. <laughs> It'll always never work. Dosh. Oh, dosh. <laughs> Dosh Vader. Wonga. Oh, I like a bit of Wonga. Chut. That's all I got. <clears throat> we got nothing. A lot of on. twitches on Chut, though. We got honest. a little. His face had like many wires in many places that went. Like they wanted to move. Processing spots. Chut. What is a Wonga? Money. How many terms for money can exist? <laughs> I feel like you have a lot. I'm trying to pull it together because there's. There's a lot of reasons why, like Bunsen burner. Nice little burner. There's all sorts of slang that makes Two sense. Fiver. Two pence, fiver, <coughs> wonga. Monkey. Wonga. Okay, hold on, I haven't heard that one. But wonga is just ridiculous. Wonga is just a sound. It's like there's words and then sounds. If I got hit by two bats at the same time, 
Wonga. That's a real Wonga. <laughs> Hit me with a dosh sentence. Found a wallet on the floor. Fair amount of dosh inside. They're all money? <laughs> no! No, they're all money! I told you, they just... They can't just call it money! I don't like, it's call it money, call it, uh, whatever. Quid. They got quid. quid. Yeah, so that'll be about five chut. Chut in my way. Well, that's gonna cost you a bit of chut. You just, you're coming here and trying to get a sandwich on only that amount of chut. I'm all out of Wonga, my bud. Ooh, Wonga. Oh. There's not enough dosh in the world. The problem is, <laughs> the problem is, dosh, I can almost make the most sense out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with dosh. All right, man, I'm gonna go with chut. Really? Point <gasps> for Jeremy. Yeah, wow. it was Chut. It was Chut. Well done. Just playing off Chutney. Thought oh, a little bit of Chut, you know, a bit of money. See, that's just why I let us slide. go with money. There's a lot of words for cash, and if you have a weird one, or honestly, just want to like make up one yourself, play the game yourself in the comments below. Just like make up your own name for money, and then people can judge you for it. Final round. I would hate that. You got Bendles, you got Skive, and you've got Lurgy. There's the E. That's the E sound. The Lurgy's got he it. He likes the E, and he does like a, a subtle amount of G. Every now and again, there will be a round where one of the words I know I've heard before. Don't know any of these. Yeah. He likes a, a sk or a st. Yeah, he's, yep. And he also likes ools at the end of things. He does, and Sorry, the give e. me an example of ools that I like. Listen, I can't pull out the words you make, but it's just, I know the pieces. Okay. Uh, something that ends in dolls or a like goals or a he's, fools. He's like, I was walking around, there's a bunch of little bibbles on the ground. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, then, and then there's that classic E. The E. A lurgy, I'm gonna say, <laughs> is you got robbed. A bit of a lurgy, because it's a burglary. I feel like it's a group of uh, so it's just a little lurgy. high society folk, a religious sect, perhaps. Are you saying it's like a, like a lurgy of rich people? Perhaps. <laughs> Skive sounds like something you, you mishmash skydive. No one in the UK skydives. <laughs> That's true. They don't believe in planes. And then Bendles is just a word that he's made up. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if it's my brain slowly melting or if I'm getting worse as the rounds go on. I'm clueless. All right, I think we need to know more about Bendles. The Bendles are typically the uh, richest area in the place you live, like somewhere you would have to pass by but you can't afford to live in. <sighs> That's the where the, you might find a lurgy. That's the Bendles. Very believable. Just around the Bendles. Just around the river. We bendles? don't go down that way. Those are out in the Bendles. What do we got? Pockets full of Wonga? We can't live in the <laughs> <Yeah>. Bendles. <laughs> All right. Have a binny in the Bendles. Yeah, Before we the... go to the knees up. Yo, Jim Lim's in the Bendles. He's having a. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So I'd like to hear Lurgy in a sentence. Jim's not coming out tonight. He's got the Lurgy. So, like, oh, it's like he's short sick. for laryngitis. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know. He's got the Lurgy. Lurgy. Lurgies. He's got a case of the Lurgy. Use them both. He was out late last night on the pole. Right. And now he's right. Now he's back from the knees up with a lurgy. He had a binny, went knees up, out on the pole, and then came back. Wasted all too, his dodge. Too ill to go to work. He's on the lurgy or whatever. He's on the lurgy. He's got a lurgy. Three, two, one, two. two. Oh, he pulled it with Skive. Wow. Oh no. Skive is real. Oh, oh no! Oh. Was it Was it the Bendles? It was the Bendles. Oh, I knew dang it. it. I made up the Bendles. I thought you were going to go with Bendles, so I went with Sky. Walking to school, cut through the Bendles, bit of a shortcut. Oh. Light of bollocks. Light of bollocks. <laughs> uh, that one's box. like, yeah, like an honest cooties. Cooties aren't real. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just you know. telling you, if someone calls out with the cooties, <laughs> to Lurgy. fire that person. Lurgy. And Sky yeah. is uh, to like skip work. Truancy, not come into school. Play hook. Sky off. Mm. Skive off is playing Lazy hook. bastard. Maybe skive. if you got pretend you got a lurgy, you can skive. I just feel like that's a series of letters you, you don't see like smashed together like that. Yeah. Well, that's England. Lurgy Isn't was it? just upsetting to learn that that was real. I had these two and I was like, I need this is the final round. I need it like. Bandles. Bandles. I write that down. Rich part of town. We ended a tie. A nice tie. Damn, that's a nice tie. I don't think that's bad. happened that's yet. Bad. Thanks, Gavin, for another Gavinisms episode. Anytime, lads. What, what are some English-speaking countries that yeah. we could, you know, that have their own slang and stuff like that that we can also suss out? If you want to see the previous Gavinism episode or episodes, then click on those videos and go to right them. Somewhere. Uh, if you want to be notified when the next episode of Race That Show is coming out, you got to click the bell, and that's going to be all of the Achievement Hunter videos oh, as well. Uh, that's on Tuesdays, and if you want to see it early on Mondays, go to roosterteeth.com become a first member. Yes. It's that easy. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks, people. Goodbye. Bunty Shuffler.